result of negligence. It was evening. Gattu and Jinky were returning home after school. As they came closer to their house, both of them started running. As soon as they came near the house, they took off their shoes, left it at the door and went inside. Mom! Mom! Where are you? Both of them slammed their bags and water bottles on the couch and started shouting. Mom! We are going to play! Saying this, both of them ran towards the ground. Their mother came from the kitchen and saw both of their bags were laying on the couch. When their mother came near the door, she saw that Gattu and Chinky's shoes were scattered in front of the door. Their habits are getting worse day by day. Both of them are becoming careless. Neither they ate anything nor did they get freshened up. Didn't even change their school uniform and just jumped off to play like that? Mom picked up both of their shoes and put them in the shoe stand. Then she came to the hall and picked up both of their school bags and kept them in their room and got busy in the kitchen course. At night, Gattu and Chinky were watching TV with Dad. When Mom came and said, Why don't you say something to the kids? Both of them are becoming careless. When they come back from the school, they leave the shoes in front of the door, slam their bags on the couch and go to play without even changing the school uniforms. This behavior is not right. Now they have grown up. At least they should do their own work properly. After hearing this, Gattu and Chinky got scared. They felt that now their father will definitely scold them. But their father also took their side. Oh, leave it. They are just kids. They will become careful. Now watch the TV and let us also watch. In this way, Dad saved Gattu and Chinky. The next day, when Gattu and Chinky were returning back from the school, they met Bunty on the way. Hey Gattu, Chinky, why have you come so late? We had an extra class. We are going to play football. Do you also want to come? Yes, yes. Let us just keep our bags at home. Gattu and Chinky ran towards their house. As soon as they came in front of the house, both of them left their shoes scattered in front of the door and left their bag on the couch. Then both got freshened up and ran towards the ground. When their mother came out of the kitchen, she got angry after seeing Gattu and Chinky's carelessness. Huh, today I will neither pick up their bags nor their shoes. I will just do my own work. Saying this, their mother went to the kitchen. In the evening, when their father was returning from the office, he was talking on the phone. Their father's attention did not go to the shoes scattered on the floor and their father stumbled on a shoe and fell down. Ah! Oh my God! Please come outside! Hurry up! After hearing their father's voice, their mother ran out immediately and saw him fallen on the ground. Oh, hey! Are you okay? Let's go inside. Come! Saying this, their mother picked their father up and went inside. When Gattu and Chinky came home, they saw their father was lying on the bed screaming and their mother was giving him hot compress. Ah! Oh God! Ah! Gattu and Chinky got worried after seeing their father's condition. Dad, what happened to you? Kids, stay calm. I'm not in a condition to talk. Mom, what happened to Dad? This is all the result of your negligence. If you had kept your shoes in the stand, it would not have happened. Your father slipped off your shoes and fell on the floor. Ah. Seeing their father's condition, Gattu and Chinky realized their mistake. Sorry, Dad. Because of our negligence, you are in this condition. Gattu, Chinky, your mother was right. If you had done your work properly, all this would not have happened. Ah. See, yesterday you were stopping me from scolding them. Every day I pick their shoes. I keep their school bags in their room. And both of them just run away to play. Today, just because I did not pick anything, all of this happened. I have a lot of household work to do. They should at least do their own work properly. Mom, Dad, we have realized our mistake. If we had kept our shoes in the shoe stand, kept our bags in the room, had gone to play after eating something peacefully, then neither dad would have got hurt nor you. Now onwards, we will take care so that you don't face more troubles because of us. Yes, mom. We have understood the result of our negligence. We will take care of that. 
you have realized your mistake but your punishment is still pending what will be the punishment your punishment is that you will have to massage dad's feet so tell me do you agree yes we agree in this way gattu and chinki got the lesson of self reliance and their punishment for negligence as well gattu became a soldier the children were crazy about the pubg game Gattu and Chinki would also take their father's phone and play PUBG. What are you doing? Dad, we are playing game. Playing game? But you are just sitting over there, not playing. Oh, Dad, we are sitting and playing a game. It's a mobile game. Really? Which game are you playing? Candy Crush. Oh, Dad, Candy Crush is too old. We are playing a new one. Got it. You are playing Ludo. No, Dad. Ludo is such a boring game. We are playing PUBG. The PUBG. I won. I won. Hail to the PUBG. Hail to the PUBG. Brother, it's my turn now. No, I want to play more. Dad, please tell brother. It's my turn. Gattu, show me. I will also try this game. What? You want to play PUBG? Here, take it. Papa takes the mobile and plays PUBG. Dad, you're dead. He killed you. Here, take this. I did not like this game. It has so much fighting. I think Candy Crush is much better. Papa left and the children started playing PUBG again. What is this? You also started playing with the children? You should have stopped them. Why? What happened? They just want to play PUBG all the time. They are not eating properly nor they are playing on the ground. All they want to do is to play PUBG. I am so fed up with this PUBG game. They are not even paying attention to their studies. It was a Sunday, which means a holiday. Gattu, Chinki and their friends were enjoying it. They were all sitting in the living room and playing PUBG. Yes! I won! Hail to the PUBG! Hail, Hail to, to the, the PUBG! PUBG. That's when mummy enters. Kids, enough of this PUBG. Now go and study. Auntie, we want to be soldiers. You need to study for that. No need. We can become soldiers even by playing PUBG. We have learned to fire a gun and kill the enemy in PUBG. We have learned everything. Hearing this, mummy became very upset. A few days later, the children were badly addicted to this game. and hence their parents were very worried suddenly one day the government of india banned pubg and the children who were addicted to the game became sad there was no need to ban pubg we wanted to become soldiers now how will we become soldiers what we will play now go to the ground and play cricket or football you will get some exercise also and it will help you to be fit then you will become soldiers for sure no we want to play pubg saying this gattu and chinki started crying just then gattu and chinki's uncle entered he was an officer in the indian army what happened didi why are the kids crying pubg is banned and this is the result uncle we wanted to become soldiers just like you and that pubg is banned how will we become soldiers hearing this uncle started laughing <laughs> Look at them Harish I'm so fed up now only you can get rid of their bad habit Then uncle gathered all the children and said Kids do you know how I became a soldier How When I was a kid I used to sit at home and play video games I didn't exercise and became very fat What happened then When I went to become a soldier they rejected me said you are very fat to become a soldier What did you do then? I stopped playing video games and started playing on the ground. Then I lost my fat and finally I became a soldier. We also want to be soldiers. You can't be a soldier. Why? Because you just sit at home and play. Then you will also become fat and get rejected. Then what should we do? First of all, stop playing games on mobile. Go to the ground, do some exercise, play cricket, football, etc. Then you will stay fit and one day become a soldier like me. Really, uncle? Yes, children. 
No one can become a soldier by playing PUBG. Firing a real gun is not that easy. You need special training for it. And for this training, you have to be selected. And to get selected, you need to play actual games and study hard. We understood it, uncle. Now onwards, we will study for a while and then we will play football on the ground. Mobile games are for just fun. We will not play much. And this way, children were able to overcome the habit of PUBG game and became smart.